p.m. now with the Tacoma in California. Going out to the desert in Borrego Springs. We were at 469. I missed Florida so much, but we're gonna be taking the truck up there, seeing kind of what type of gas mileage it gets and just how it acts on the road. Going from Arizona to here in California, the truck did actually pretty good. Not insanely calculated because I need to see the mileage that this truck is doing versus like what's actually recording on the odometer. So I need to do all that math. But the computer read like 18 miles per gallon for half a leg and then the other half is like 16.6. Before we get into all the camping and off-road adventure guys, I wanna let you know about today's video sponsor, Anchor. I've been using their products forever and the fact that they sent out their brand new Anchor Solex C800, which is particular to camping, for me to review for you guys and give you a discount is pretty rad. Let's take a look at this thing. So I got to use this thing a little bit in Brago, but I will continue to use it as we camp with the Tacoma. And as this Tacoma gets built up into an overland project, I do have solar panels coming for it, which we will test out when I camp in Moab, Utah. But we have 10 ports on this thing, guys. Five standard outlets up front that you would see like in the United States, 110 outlets right there. We have two USB USB-C's, two USB-A's, which I use these to charge up my phone, which I typically record with, my Apple Watch, and also my GoPro batteries so I could capture footage like this for you all while I was off-roading out in Borrego Springs. So all my batteries stayed nice and topped off, and you may be thinking, well, hey, if there's 110 outlets right here, how much can I really get out of this thing? Well, if you guys are camping and you want a blender or a coffee maker, something like that, this thing will go up to 1600 watts of output with a standard of 1200 watt output out of this little guy with a grand total of 700 and 68 watt hours coming out of this Anchor Solex. Let's take a closer look at this thing so you guys have seen how I've been kind of manhandling it with these pretty comfortable handles, but you'll also notice up top is this little thing right here. So I've never seen this on any kind of portable devices at all power stations. So what we have here are flashlights. So these have three little light modes to them, which is pretty cool. You also see back here on the back, that it charges while it's up in here. And then you may be thinking, well, what the heck is this thing? So I'll take this out. Now you'll see it says place pole. Well, this is the pole. So if you go ahead and set this down right here, screw it in, it will actually extend up, which is pretty cool. So you then just take the flashlight that has a little magnetic bottom on it, put it right up here, and then let's say you have to put stuff into the bed of your truck like I have right here at nighttime, out in the desert and you want to make sure that everything is lit up and you're tying everything down the right way this will do that for you or two if you just need a normal flashlight just take it out you could use this thing as a normal flashlight like i did out at the desert completely was able to see my parents trailer no problem i uh, did it out in the canyon too i could see down into the canyon this thing was actually surprisingly bright this thing is very bright too and it shines down and it will help illuminate your camp if you need to at night and it's just nice to have that instead of kind of fishing for all these flashlights up here so if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourselves i will leave a link in the description and also the pinned comment 150 dollars off only 500 dollars right now is their introductory price for this thing. But that only goes until March 31st, 2024. So when Anchor reached out for me to do a sponsorship, I thought, hey, it's a no brainer. And also the trip to the West Coast was a little bit expensive. So guys, links again in the description and pinned comment, get that discount, scoop this thing up. I can't wait to use it more for you guys. Back to the video. But we have about 98 miles to our destination in Borrego Springs. So I'm gonna go over here to our gauge cluster again and go over here to the distance traveled. Gonna go ahead, press okay, reset that. And we'll just see how far off the Tacoma is when we get there. When I drove from my buddy's house in Fallbrook to my parents' house here in Vista, California, it was like 24 miles to their house and the truck only registered like 22 and a half or so that it actually traveled. So probably the more miles you go, the more off that's gonna be, which means you technically get better gas mileage than the truck is showing. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of tire math all the time when you do this stuff, but we're off to the desert. Check out these views here, guys. Holy smokes, California is beautiful right now. So we're almost to the 76 to head out east towards Borrego. But California is so 
freaking green. Oh my gosh, as we keep coming around these mountains right here. Holy crap. I just don't know I was actually born in California, joined the military, moved to Arizona. Absolutely love Arizona. It has my heart for sure. California though is where I was born and raised. And then went to Korea and then Florida and then ultimately stayed in Florida after I got out of the military. But dude, being back on the West Coast for these last couple weeks has just been absolutely amazing. The people that I've met, the companies that I've talked to, uh, just the collaboration out here is just so awesome. We're on the 76 now and you can see how winding roads that we're gonna be doing. So we're definitely going up a grade. The truck hanging out in about 2000 RPM, going about 40 miles an hour. Don't wanna go too much faster because you can see the turn right there. It's only a 35 mile an hour turn. Now with these bigger tires, I have noticed that the truck does kick down a little bit more and wants to go over 2000 RPM as we can see right there versus when the truck was stock and uh, you know, it, it just was meant to be what it was. So now, you know, it had to kick down to 3000 RPMs, but we are going up a grade and you know, I added weight to it, the heavier tires. Um, lighter wheels, I feel like the wheels are lighter, but the tires are probably 20, 30 pounds heavier, unfortunately, than what the stock tires are. So it's definitely working to go up the grades and stuff. Now we're over 2000 RPMs and you can kind of see the grade right there on the right hand side uh, with the tilt meter and stuff. But I don't wanna film too much. I just really want to kind of show you guys, you know, that the truck, we are going up the grade and you can see it right there on the right hand side. and. The power is there though, that is for sure. Like the power is definitely there and I'm not like fighting with this truck at all. I know that the gas mileage is gonna be going down unfortunately, but that's what just happens when you lift the truck and all that stuff. But at least it has power and it's not like screaming the four or 5,000 RPMs. I feel like the normal iForce powertrain in this truck with the eight speed trans and even with these bigger tires, like it handles it really, really well. So we got more downhill as we enter into Borrego, but now we can see the desert out there. Salton Sea way out in the distance. And one thing I like that the Tacoma does, you can see the RPMs, it's kind of holding itself. It's almost like this truck engine brakes for you as well, which is cool because you know, we're going slow and it's still holding at like 2000 RPMs. It's kind of cool that the truck knows. And I noticed that in California too, when I was test driving these vehicles with uh, Toyota, uh, that the truck just knew that you're going downhill, kind of held its RPMs a little bit for you. You accelerate as you start to go up the hill and the truck is just good to go. Well, I caught up with my parents and we made it to Borrego Springs. Gonna park up here up on the hill on the ridge and overlook the Salton Sea. So with us getting here, the truck is right at 91 miles. So we saved <laughs> seven miles. And we're at 17.9 miles per gallon after we filled up the truck. So 17.9 miles per gallon. If you guys know how to do this down in the comments, please let me know because we were seven miles shy of what it actually said. So we're probably somewhere in the 18 mile per gallon range, which isn't bad for how much downhill and then back uphill uh, we ultimately did. So definitely not the 23 that the truck used to have, but it's, it's okay. <clears throat> Very close on this side and even more close over there. And this is all we got on the screen, but you could see the degrees right there. Oh yeah, look at this angle. Holy smokes, bro. This is stunning. Oh, truck grabbed a little bit too much because we were, so I'm just letting crawl control do it now. My foot is off. All right, there we go. This truck is telling me like all my sensors are off. So I, I do wish that a lot of these nanny features, they weren't on, but a lot of them are on. All the time it's like, this is on, this is on. I know, that's the whole point. That's that tailpipe dragon. Did you guys hear that?
this view coming down from the calcite mine. So it's told during World War II, they were digging up calcite to make scopes for their guns. And look at all these crows flying and everything too right up there. See them? That's wild. Man, I miss the freaking West Coast in the desert. So beautiful. The Tacoma has been doing really well. I and mean, I hope everything captured well on camera for you guys, but I just love this little truck. This truck is just the perfect size, the great, insane amount of low-end torque with it too, very linear. Uh, my only thing though, and I'm gonna let Jeff Westcott know, is that I feel like the rebound, hold on, look at this guys. Look at that. Stop moving, Chucky. That's way cool. But I feel like the rebound with the suspension is a little bit hindered with the pre-collar kit. Aside from that, like the bumps and everything with it, it's very, very OEM feeling. But if I go fast over something to where the front end drops down like fairly quick and like lands fairly quick, the rebound of the suspension, I feel like is just a little bit hindered on the front, just kind of giving it like a bucking feeling. So, but I do just want to mention that to him because, you know, eventually I'll put a full suspension kit on this truck. The Bilsings have been absolutely insane. I love these Bilsings on this, uh, but you know, there are better kits out there before a stock truck. The Bilstings are freaking amazing. Check all this out. So we just made our way into Truck Haven here. Holy crap, this is like just a whole course for just a whole bunch of off-road stuff. I was gonna say, no way Uncle David's doing that. That's insane. Trip distance 12 miles took us an hour <laughs> but we're back at camp and check out the Salton Sea up here so cool to overlook that love it 